Hello all, in today's video we are going to learn about checksum. Checksum is a technique for error detection where error detection is a part of error control. Before starting with what checksum is, let me tell you what is error control. As you all know, error control is one of the responsibility of the data link layer where the data link layer adds reliability to the physical layer. How? By adding some mechanisms to detect and retransmit lost or damaged or duplicate frames. How does it do? What mechanism it is? The mechanism is called as error detection and correction. What do you mean by error detection? Error detection means finding out that an error has occurred. Whereas error correction is after finding out that an error has occurred, we also have to find out the location in the message where the error has occurred. There are two types of errors that can occur. One is a single bit error and the other is the burst error. What is a single bit error? A single bit error means that any one of the bit in the message is being corrupted or changed. You can see here one zero while the message was sent, the zero is being changed as one. This is a single bit error where only one bit is being altered or modified. But what happens in burst error is that in burst error, we have two or more number of bits being changed from one to zero or from zero to one. You can see in this burst, in this collection of bits, eight bits, you can see four bits are being altered or corrupted. Now, finding out that the data received is not exactly how the data was sent is error detection. And finding the exact positions where the bits are being modified is error correction. So, before learning about error detection, error correction mechanism, a very important term we need to learn is about is redundancy. There are two meanings to redundancy depending on the context we are using. Redundancy generally has a meaning of duplication whereas the meaning which we use here is that redundant information is the one which we are temporarily using and discarding it later. So to be able to detect or correct errors we make use of some extra bits with our data. Now these extra bit help the receiver to identify whether an error has been occurred or not. That is called as redundancy here. Now, so what are we going to learn in this video? In this video, we are going to learn about a technique called as checksum, which is an error detection technique, which tells the receiver that the data that it has received is correct or not. So we will see what we do to get to compute this mechanism this technique checksum at the sender side and at the receiver side now let us see the steps that we have at the sender side what happens at the sender side is that the message that is to be transmitted is divided into 8 bit words how many ever for example i have 32 bit uh, message being sent i divide them into 8 bit words so how, how many 8 bit words I'll get? 8 4s uh, are 32. So I'll get 32 uh, bit for 4 words. Then the value of the checksum word initially is set to 0. What is being done is all these 8 bit words are added using ones complement addition. We make use of ones complement addition and add all these 8 bit words. After addition, the sum that we get is complemented. And the sum that we get is actually called as the checksum. And then what happens is the sender sends the message along with the checksum computed. Then what happens at the receiver side? At the receiver side, the message as I told you, the message including the checksum is divided into, it is 8 bit words, is again divided into 8 bit words. All the words are again added along with the checksum. Including the checksum we get the message. We divide all the words using again once complement addition. Then again the sum obtained after once complement addition is being complemented again. And we get the new checksum. 
if the new checksum value is all zeros then it means that the message is accepted meaning that there are there is no error if the newly computed checksum is zero if at all the newly checksum computed is not zero then it means that the there is a change in the information and an error has occurred so let us see the workflow of checksum i have the sender side and the receiver side we have the sender side and the receiver side what are we doing the given message is divided into n bit words for example we are dividing 8 uh, bit words how many we got if it is a 32 bit message 4 i get 4 uh, n bit message words i will add them all using once complement addition whatever sum i get i will complement it after complementing whatever answer i get is assumed to be our checksum then what the sender does along with the message which was total n bits what we do is we also attach the checksum with the message and it is being sent to the receiver the receiver along with will receive all those words along with the new checksum it adds all those bits using once complement addition again whatever sum it gets is a newly computed checksum and that newly computed checksum is again complemented and if we get all zeros that means the uh, message is being accepted and there is no error you can see we have a message here which is of some n bits it is of 32 bits actually we divided it into 8 bit words so i have divided it into 4 8 bit words okay then so you can see here that we have the four uh, eight bit words we are adding the four eight bits words 1 2 3 4 using once complement addition okay whatever sum i get i am adding one zero here this one zero is nothing but the carry out of the msb this carry out of the msb is being added again so you get the actual sum and this sum is complemented using once complement and whatever we get now is the checksum value now the sender along with this message also sends the new checksum value to the receiver and then the receiver will add this is a checksum that has been computed along with the four 8 bit words is again added using once complement addition whatever answer i get again the carry out of the msb is added what after addition you see the result is again being passed to once complement and the once complement if it is all zeros it means that there is no change in the information the receiver detects no error because none of the bits in the data were modified if at all any one of the bit in the data word either a single bit error or a burst error if any one of the bit would have been modified we will not get the checksum the new checksum at the receiver as a zero we get a non zero value and a non zero value here tells us that an error has occurred so checksum is a error detection technique now let, now let us let us take up an example and uh, do the checksum computation now these are the four bit uh, four 8 bit words we have at the sender side let me divide the page for the sender and receiver you can see this is at the sender side what we do the four 8 bit words are being added using once complement addition okay so 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 1 1 1 is 2 2 binary 2 is 1 0 so i will have a carry here as 1 i will round off the carry here then 1 plus 1 is again 2 so a zero here and a carry one here one plus one is two that is 10 so a zero here and a carry one here then we have 1 2 3 three is binary value is 11 1 uh, 1 so i have one here and a carry here then i have 1 plus 1 two that is 1 0 so carry one here here you see 1 2 3 four you are getting four and four in uh, binary is 1 0 so i have a zero here and that one zero the carry out of the msb that is one zero i will adjust here by adding it here so i will add it here as one zero again using once complement addition so i will add one plus zero is one 
वन प्लस वन इज ज़ीरो कैरी वन देन दिस इज़ वन दिस इज ज़ीरो ज़ीरो वन ज़ीरो ज़ीरो एज इट इज एंड आफ्टर डूइंग वंस कॉम्प्लीमेंट एडिशन वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप यू हैव टू डू वंस कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ द नंबर वी हैव टू परफॉर्म वंस कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ द नंबर विच इज सिंपली इन्वर्टिंग द बिट्स ज़ीरो बिकम्स वन ज़ीरो बिकम्स वन वन बिकम्स ज़ीरो ज़ीरो बिकम्स वन ज़ीरो बिकम्स वन वन बिकम्स ज़ीरो ज़ीरो इज कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड टू वन एंड वन इज कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड टू ज़ीरो सो वॉट वी गेट हियर इज आवर वॉट वी गॉट हियर इज आवर न्यू चेक्सम वैल्यू दैट इज कंप्यूटेड नाउ दिस एंटायर मैसेज ऑफ थर्टी टू बिट्स अलॉन्ग विद दिस चेक्सम इज सेंड टू दी रिसीवर सो वॉट डज द रिसीवर डू द रिसीवर विल एड द data i will write down the data bits here will 100010 then we have 00100 and 100 we have 100000 100000 along with our checksum what is our checksum that we computed it is 110110110 that is to be added using ones complement addition so it will be 1 this will be 0 carry 1 this will be 1 2 3 so it is be it will be 1 1 carry it is 1 2 3 again 1 carry 1 then again this is 1 2 3 again 1 carry 1 then it is 1 2 3 3 is 1 1 okay binary values 1 carry 1 here 1 2 3 again we get 1 carry 1 this is 1 2 3 4 5 5 what is binary value 5 1 0 1 so i will have 1 here and a carry out of the msb is 1 0 so this carry out of the msb is adjusted here by adding it here again 1 0 so we will add it 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 now what is the step after doing the addition you are supposed to do ones complement of the sum and ones complement of the sum if you see is 0 0 0 0 and if the resultant checksum at the receiver side is 0 that means no error has occurred no error has occurred if i would have modified any data bits in the data like this if i would have modified any data bits in the data then the newly computed checksum would not have been all zeros it could would have been a non zero value and that will represent that an error has occurred okay so this is the checksum technique used for error detection i leave it for you to exercise modifying the bits at the receiver side and checking that you will not get a non zero value thank you